Consider the following solution to the producer-consumer synchronization problem. The shared buffer size is n. Three semaphores mt, full and mutex are defined with respective initial values of 0, n and 1. mt denotes the number of available slots in the buffer and for the consumer to read from. Full denotes the number of available slots in the buffer for the producer to write to. The placeholder variables denoted by P, Q, R and S in the code below can be assigned either empty or full. The valid semaphore operations are weight and signal. Which of the following assignments to P, Q, R, S will give the correct solution? So, in the question, so this is a question from process synchronization topic from operating systems. We are given this producer consumer problem. This is the producer code and this is the consumer code. We need to ensure proper process synchronization such that the producer, once it has something, it will keep on adding to the buffer and whenever something is there in the buffer, the consumer should read from the buffer. So if the buffer is full, the producer should not be able to add any more to the buffer. Similarly, if the buffer is empty, the consumer can't any, consume anything from the buffer. So let's take a look at these semaphores and see what they mean. It is saying that full denotes the number of available slots in the buffer. Full is denoting the number of available slots in the buffer. So initially full is assigned to 1. Meaning initially there are n slots available in the buffer. So you should note that initially there are n slots available in the buffer. It's not that n slots are completely filled up. So if n slots are available in the buffer and total number of slots are n which means there is nothing in the buffer currently, n slots are available. So there is nothing for consumer to consume from and producer can write, that is fine. So initially this weight P, so one more thing, weight, when we apply weight, we will be reducing the value here and when we do signal, we will be increasing the value of that semaphore. You can refer to the semaphore section in the video lectures and see what exactly weight and signal mean. So initially producer, should be able to proceed without any issues but consumer should be blocked before full is assigned to n and meaning that there are n slots available in the buffer so there is nothing currently so this weight of r should be blocked now this will be blocked if r is full it will be weight applied on n that will proceed fine without any issues so that is not correct if it is r is empty meaning that this will be blocked here weight when applied of zero this will be blocked here unless someone increases the value of empty only then it can proceed so r will be empty similarly for producer we are applying weight of p and this should go fine in initially so when we are applying weight of p if p is empty weight of empty will come and it will be blocked so producer won't be able to proceed further in the code that is wrong we have n slots available so p should be full instead of empty so, and after this part in this part we are we have acquired the logs and then we are adding one item to the buffer when we are adding one item to the buffer we need to indicate that consumer can now start consuming that means the value of whatever is r that should change initially it was zero it should change to one so whatever is r should be same as q meaning q will be empty similarly when we are signaling s that means we have already consumed something we need to free up one slot after that weight can run so whatever is p should be s here so S will be full. So this is the valid assignments looking at options. P full, Q is empty, R is empty, S is full. Option C is the right answer here.